In this scenario, we will create a service that allows creating a VM in two different flavors, namely a small one and a medium-sized one. The actual parameter values for the different settings are stored in a shared data object. So let's start with the data object. We see that two of them already exist, one for the vSphere Cloud parameter values and one for a small virtual machine. So let's create a separate data object for a bigger virtual machine. The data type gives us a list of attributes that are needed. The values I'm filling in here are the same as in the other data object, except that we are defining a larger value for memory and the number of virtual CPUs that are allocated. The good news is that I can reuse this data object in all cases where a vSphere VM is required as part of an underlying template. So now let's go and create the service. The goal is that a user can create a virtual machine without the need to worry about the details of the target vSphere environment it is going in, and that the only choice the user has to make is whether to get a small or a medium-sized VM. So the first element we add to the service is a decision. We'll create a service parameter that defines the size of the target VM called VM size. And the decision has two cases, depending on the value set for the VM size parameter, and we'll call them small and medium. Now let's find a template we want to use to deploy the VM. Besides defining the instance name, all we need to do is assign the right data objects for the cloud and VM values. Note that we'll use the data object here that rep represents a fault small VM. And then we we'll repeat this for the second case. The only difference being that this time we choose the medium data object we created a minute ago. For this simple example, we'll just leave it at that. A more complete service would add some type of notification that the VM is deployed, for example, by sending an email to the consumer of the service. On the parameter tab, we can see the service parameter we created earlier, as well as the individual parameter values used on the template. We don't need to do anything else here. The data object is already filled in. On the following tab, we will define the plans that our service offers. This is how a user selects services with different service levels. A standard plan has already been generated by default. We'll make sure that when that plan is chosen, the VM size parameter is set to small, leading to the creation of a small VM. Then we'll create an additional plan and call it premium. For this plan, we'll set the parameter to medium, which will lead to the deployment of a medium-sized VM.
Before we test the new service, let's take another look at the flow we have defined. We have a decision point with a parameter that is mapped to the two different plans we offer for the service. The decision leads to the deployment of the same template, but with different sets of parameters passed in via the two data objects that we created. So let's try to order the service and select the premium plan. All I need to do is give my order a name. The VM size parameter is already filled in and it cannot be changed. We could have even set it to invisible, in which case it wouldn't even be shown here. Now the VM gets created in my vSphere cluster. Once the service instance is active, I can look at more details about that instance. I can also navigate all the way to the template instance that was deployed as part of my order. It shows that the VM was created and is up and running. So now that I have successfully tested my new service, I can publish it so that it can be consumed by a catalog. And this completes the scenario. The new service is ready to be used.